Okay, so here's what's actually happening in sickle cell anemia, especially in the pediatric population. Normally, our red blood cells are soft and round, right? But in sickle cell disease, something called hemoglobin S replaces normal hemoglobin. And this tiny change in protein structure, it actually makes the red blood cells rigid and shaped like a crescent or a sickle. Now, when those cells lose oxygen, they actually clump together and block blood flow. This is why these patients have painful episodes called sickle cell crises. Things like dehydration, fever, infection, or even stress can trigger one. Basically anything that makes the body need more oxygen. And there are different types of crises. Vasoocclusive, which causes pain, splenic sequestration, hyperhemolytic, and aplastic. Each one can get serious very quickly. The screening over here usually starts with a quick finger stick test called a sickle dex. It takes about three minutes, but if it's positive, it'll be confirmed with a hemoglobin electrophoresis to see if the child actually has the trait or the disease. Treatment and nursing care focuses on prevention and comfort. Hydration over here is key oxygen is needed, and then there's, of course, pain management and infection prevention. These kiddos also need vaccines like pneumococcal, meningococcal, and the annual flu shot because of their higher infection risk. And a fun fact over here, early hydration and oxygenation can actually reverse the sickling process. But if this happens over and over again, the cells can become permanently damaged. So yeah, sickle cell disease isn't just about a pain crisis. It's a full body condition that needs a team approach, a lot of prevention, and even more patience. If you comment sickle down below, I will send you a free pediatric hematology cheat sheet right to your DMs.